Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy. This is the end of the whole program, and I'm a final presenter. Uh, my name is Songi Park, and then um, I'm a professor of sport marketing and media at Hankook University of Foreign Studies. And uh, I'm currently working on the project about the, uh, the future development of eSport and how it's, how it's going to be in the near future. So it's my honor to share my knowledge I've found with you all. And the purpose of my presentation is to think together about the uh, new development of eSport from just electronic sport to F sport. As you may know, that's a future sport. Okay, let's get it started. Okay, uh, in the sixth IOC summit uh, last October, the IOC and the guys together they just exploded the possible possibility of the inclusion of eSport into the mega sport event platform such as uh, Olympic game and Asian game. And uh, the Olympic Council of Asia, uh, which is OCA, they already confirmed that the eSports game will be the uh, Asian game in 2018 and 2012 too. And why do they have a so strong interest in the adding the eSport to the uh, mega sport event platform such as Olympic game? Because Esports are showing you know, rapid and strong growth, especially in the youth market, right? And the IOC, they are losing their uh, young generation market. So it's sort of the uh, uh, winning situation. So if esports would be the Olympic game, and it would be a huge asset to uh, IOC to attract the many uh, young you know, generation in their market, no question about it. And Global esports market right now is being skyrocketed, right? And so according to a new zoo back in uh, 2016, the esports market changed their all record in revenue and uh, uh, in audience in the entire market size every year. For example, the expected market size in 2020 is more than $128 billion. It's a huge market, right? And as you can see on the screen, every indicator in esports is in upward directions. Right, of all directions. In other words, esports is one of the hottest contents, hottest sports-related content right now. So, although the popularity of esports is being increased right now, that there are many conditions and then uh, uh, consideration also uh, to be recognized by IOC as a sport. For example, systematic and the well-developed uh, and sustainable, sustainable sport development system, and then. Uh, international governing body like uh, IESF, and also standard rules and regulations, and above all, meeting the Olympic value, Olympic value, that's the key things. So in addition, because sports uh, traditionally involve a physical activity, mutual understanding uh, on the definition of a body-related sport and each application into the realm of esports should be uh, made first. And according to uh, uh, Jenny Edo here, 2017, they believe that esports most fit within the characteristic of sports. I mean, conceptually, right? And uh, they try to extend the Goodman's uh, the concept, Goodman concept on the uh, sport. So, conceptually speaking, it is not awkward or strange at all to see esports as sport. However, most people still think that like a chess game, right? Esports is not the same as typical or traditional sport game, right? Because it does not involve body movement. That's a key thing, major body movement. So one possible and a compromised way of understanding on esports is to create so-called third stage, okay? In which, every, in which esports is understood as sport mediated by electronic content not electronic sport. Sport mediated by electronic content. That's how to say third stage. So look at this guy. He's playing video game right now, right? His play involves major body movement. This is a little bit about the, what uh, Landy say, right, in the previous uh, presentation. And they're using uh, additional device like uh, a VL machine and treadmill. And this picture also shows what he is playing, playing right now. In other words, what is he on media here, screen, what he plays exactly right now. So, and put it this way, if his play 
broadcast on big screen or media or big screen on the, uh, at, at the stadium, uh, that would be a good example of uh, sports mediated by electronic content. I mean, this is meeting both criteria of eSports and sports as well. So, based on this conceptual assumption, uh, I used the big data analytics-based research process and uh, created a three research stage to develop eSports from just electronic sport to sport mediated by uh, electronic content, and finally to future eSports. The first stage of the study is a preliminary stage, and then in this stage, I investigated more than 300 million web pages to find how many web pages uh, has one of these five keywords here, okay? And I got the 842 web page and 15 additional uh, keywords about the esports industry from the 842 web page. In the second stage of the study, uh, I utilized our programming language to find the degree of association and also to visualize the data, what I found. And I found more than 2,000 web page having at least one of these 15 keywords I got from the previous stage. In the final stage, uh, I perform in-depth interview and those Delphi method, and those are examined and investigated by the uh, AHP, which stands for Analytics uh, Hierarchy Process. And through this three stage, I got the uh, validity and reliability of this study. And let's take a look at the research stage number one and two in more detail. As I explained, 15 keywords were uh, generated, and I found 10 cases uh, with the various combination of the 15 keywords and the world of esports. And please see the table below here. Uh, take a look at the first one as an example. There are the words in red, highlighted, right? And the S E F S C M S stands for uh, sport and event and StarCraft and facility and media and league, respectively. And it means, please take a look at the, the, the confidence column, the, the fourth one. This shows the, it shows the 0.98, it means uh, if any web page having the keywords like this one, sport, event, facilities, the craft, and then uh, match and league, uh, the web page has about 98% of chance having the word esports at the same time, okay? And as for the, the lift, the last column, look at that, there are 1.58. It's all about the uh, chance and possibility as well. It means that if any web page has sport, uh, and event, facility, StarCraft, and the match and league, that page has 1.58 times bigger chance of having the word eSports as opposed to the, those keywords are not shown on the web page. So I hope you guys to uh, be with me right now, okay? <laughs> All right, and then next one is in the final stage, okay? I performed the in-depth interview uh, with 13 and 14 expert from the whole various, uh, you know, esports related industry and the academic and the media field. And also Delphi method uh, were utilized to draw the uh, action plans and idea to be made uh, to develop the future esports. And analytics hierarchy process, which is called AHP, also used based on the, uh, the keywords I got from the previous uh, research stage. And through the, uh, Delphi and the expert uh, review, there are four major and 12 sub-major category with the 39 action plan were developed, okay? But I didn't put that the 39 action plan here because of a time and space limit. And which are, I mean, the four major category are specification and infrastructures and content and scientification. Those are, are four important key uh, category. And AHP also showed that the content is most important things, followed by infrastructures, and specification, and scientification. 
So in order to uh, draw relative importance among the uh, 12 category here, okay, this looks complicated, okay. Uh, take a look at that. The content here has a 0.38, it's a high score, right? That's the most important thing, followed by infrastructures and specification and scientification. And in order to figure out which one is most important things out of the total 12 item here, the right column, I, uh, prior to weight number A here, it doesn't work, A, multiplied by prior weight B, and the final result is the, the, this one over a priori. So I just put it, the final result in the final column uh, uh, in an uh, order rank manner, okay? And it means that the most important idea to be done, made, is to uh, develop so, uh, so to be called ecosystem to wisely handle IP problem or wisely handle the, was solve the conflict between the IP holders. It has number one, right? From number one IP, uh, number two, uh, rules and regulation. The final item is, 12 thing is uh, AL, Argumentary Reality Based Sports Facility. So in order to develop eSports from just electronic sports uh, to F sports, I say that uh, I draw four important categories here, which are uh, specification, infrastructure, content, and scientification. And uh, I got it through the uh, series of objective and scientific research processes. The future eSport is not just extension of the uh, present eSport. That's a key thing, okay? And I think uh, we got to develop new lens through which we could see eSport in a different way, okay? So it is not just game-based electronic sports, but sports mediated by electronic contents and also the future sports encompassing all types of traditional sport and uh, esports as well by maximizing each online based platform. So please take a look at the, my uh, last slide here. This figure shows the, okay, sort of the uh, important stakeholder of esports, all right, and then how people perceive the esports in their mind. That's it, stakeholder analysis. And there's nothing about the, uh, the future of esports or how and what is going to be in the near future. And that's where we are standing right now. So the future of esports, it should be the, the online-based sport interwoven with the key element of esports and traditional sports as well. So it should be the sport, not game, okay? It should be the culture, not leisure. It should be the people-centered, not just user or player-focused one. It should be the uh, lifelong body-led movement sport, not just for the industry or, or IP holders' revenue. Uh, we believe that the, the future of a uh, car industry is uh, autonomous car industry, right? And what about the future of the internet? It, it would be a IoT or AI-driven uh, new development or new industry? And I, I'm gonna, I would like to ask her this question, raise this question. What is the future of sport? What is the future of sport? I think that's e-sport. Why? Why? We can experience the future of sport in a present manner by using the platform, by using the characteristic, by using the strengths of e-sport. That's why I call it F-sport from e-sport. That's it. That's all of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.